All right, we just pulled into the Swan and Dolphin Resort area. Swan is on the right, Dolphin's on the left. And, and across the street is oh, the golf course. There's a mini golf course right there. Why, yeah. why do we never do that? I, because I don't we know. never, that's the first time I've seen it in the 50,000 times we've come. I had no idea there was a golf course. Anyway, that's pretty pathetic. I just wanted to show you so the how to get in. Here's the parking right here, this guy blocking it for whatever reason. Um, yes, move along. So Disney now does charge for parking. Um, so you just got to go through the little turnstile, get your ticket. If you're actually staying at the resort, when you check in, you tell them you have a car and then they will charge it to your room and then you'll use your room key to get in and out of this little, um, kiosk. $30 a night. $30 a night. $29 plus tax. Wow. That's... So what's that come up to? 50 Overnight guest. Please tap your key on the way down to the left. Oh, good lord. Visitor. So much alarm. Hi. Yeah, we're checking in. Sapa, S A P A. All right, we got front row parking. Um, this is the front of the hotel. I've done a couple of swan videos, but since I'm going to do another one, I don't think I've ever shown the actual front of the hotel. So I'm sure they have valet parking. I am not doing it, um, because, especially with this hotel, because there's the front and there's the parking lot. It's super close. There are some hotels at Disney where the parking lot is pretty far away and we would do valley parking. But with this hotel, the parking lot is so close to the front. I don't see the point of valley parking. Don't you agree, Robert? Yeah, it's not worth the money. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, don't, I just don't think it is. Not with the, the I mean, way. If you're handicapped or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Are, are you, yeah, you know agreed, I mean? agreed. But, but not, but not a you know, regular person who can walk? No. Not for this hotel. Like I said, the parking lot is closed. So here to the left is like the convention center, like when they have meetings and stuff. That's the entrance over there. They have a, to the right is where the buses meet. If you need to take a bus to the parks. And that water fountain, this whole area at night is so pretty. I mean, it's pretty right now too. Boardwalk, yeah. And the right, yeah, that's boardwalk on the other side. But um, I feel like we were just here, and we were well, we, were. <laughs> we were here like no, it was months. December, December, the second week of December. And yes, we keep going back to the Swan. Um, I've not had a bad experience yet. The room weight was the room rate was amazing. I think this trip we're only paying 170 a night. We did go with the cheapest room. Um, possible at this trip specifically because we're just trying to be a little budget conscious and so $170 a night plus tax and I think that's pretty darn good I mean of course and then you're what paying $29 a night for parking so it, it does add up but still I'm just trying to explain why we keep going back to the dolphin because it's a good rate I get points because I'm what is this is this a Marriott you get points for some reason. Anyway, I get good deals because I'm I got so many hotel reward stuff. It's ridiculous. Alright, so here is we're gonna go check in real quick, even though I know our room is not ready. And then we're gonna head to Epcot. Alright, we left our luggage in the car because we didn't think our room would be ready. It's two o'clock. Last time we got here at two, the room wasn't ready. Of course the room is ready right now. Um, we are just going to run up to our room real quick. We're still going to leave our stuff in our suitcase, our, our car for right now. Um, I, I feel perfectly safe with this hotel. Um, I just want to go up to the room real quick and grab a couple bottles of water. Uh, my rewards card, perk card, whatever a perk is, we get bottles of water in the room. So, saves money not having to buy waters at the park. And we did get upgraded, so our basic room is not too basic. So West Wing, what do we say, six? six? So there's two towers at the Swan. Uh, last time we were east, normally we're at west, we're back to the west. I think we've been on floor six before, haven't we? I think we're nine or eight or something. I don't know. We've been here a lot. It gets, it gets to be a lot, but like I said, well, until we have a bad experience, we are still gonna keep coming to the Swan. Yeah, exactly. What room are we looking for? Six seven one. Six seven one. Um, and then checkout is at one o'clock on Friday, 
she did actually ask if we wanted to do a later checkout we could have spent 65 dollars um to have a later checkout at 4 p.m and i thought about it but i decided not to oh my god that tv's loud <laughs> hold on okay turn that tv off anyway we decided against the late checkout we are if you watched my southwest video you know that I had to change flights and so we're leaving later than we normally do but we did decide not to pay extra because we think we'll be gone at one o'clock is fine so we have a car we'll just put our luggage in our car Hi. Uh, i think we've had view. this view before we have, we have actually. i don't mind this view because there is the water fountain and, and there the is the tower of terror and there is boardwalk not a bad view I, we could have she actually gave us an extra if we wanted to get a balcony i think we would have had to pay for that bit, yeah. i don't care it wouldn't have been too much but i'm not interested in balcony right now balcony we're here to spend time at the parks hold on honey right. um and then they gave me tons of extra toiletries they will only clean your room um every third day if you need anything extra you have to go to the front desk to ask so what's going on bottles of water chilling in there all right, so we got two. Ooh, cold. And then we've got four. Over there. Four, and then if I want more water, I just go to the have to wait in line at the front desk, and ask for more water, and they will give me all the water I want, which saves us money because water is three dollars a bottle at the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it saves time. Saves time. All right, so this is it's a pretty basic room. Have no complaint with that, Robert. You need to turn the air on. It's a little okay. Pretty basic room. I like these beds. I've. Oh, yeah. I can't think of any. I can't think of one bad thing to say about the salon. I, we've just never had any issues. Yeah. Um, and like I said, the rate is very reasonable. I get water. I really do. I get water because of my rewards, or does everyone get water? Don't know. I kind of really. I, I hate to tell you, anyone who stays at the salon is going to get free water. I really kind of think it's because of my rewards card, um, because they always mention it every time I check in. Uh, so. I feel like the you're the highest status in Marriott. So yeah. I don't, know. I don't know if that had anything to do with it at all. All right. I, mean, I just want to say, I no. I don't want to, don't quote me on it because I'd hate for you to be like, well, Jenny said to stay at the salon because they get free water. I get free water because of my Marriott rewards. But then you could come and maybe everyone gets free water. So, Robert thinks everybody gets free water. All right. Heading to the parks now. And. We're wearing jeans because we came from St. Louis. It's gonna be 80 degrees out there, and we're wearing jeans. I don't we I don't want to change into shorts because I really feel like uh, the thing with Florida is it starts to cool down at night, um, and so in like a couple hours it's gonna start to cool down, and so then I'm gonna be hot. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be cold. So what time is it now? It's 2:19. What time did we get in? 1:10. Okay. So that shows you how long. Yeah, less than a, we landed less than an hour ago, and we are already at our hotel room. We're ready to go to the parks. All right. Yeah, grab an extra bottle and put it in my backpack. I have a backpack that has water bottle holders. All right, we're off to the parks, and I doubt I'm going to do anything else video-wise for the Swan. So I'm just going to end this here. Um, if you want to know more about the Swan, I have several videos with hotel reviews with the Swan. Um, they have two restaurants here. They have a gift shop. I really like that gift shop. They have a snack bar. They pretty much have everything you need, just like a Disney hotel. This isn't, this is not a Disney hotel that is owned by Disney, but it's affiliated with Disney. Um, but you have the same perks that you would get if you were staying at a Disney hotel. You wouldn't realize it wasn't a Disney hotel if you didn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's got the gift shops that's full of Disney stuff. You, you think you're in a Disney hotel. Yeah, it is you're a Disney really hotel. We'll just, it is a Disney hotel. Yeah, to us, it's a Disney hotel. In that, yeah. Because if we were to stay at, a, I don't know, Beach Club or, or Yacht Club, I forget which one. If we were to stay at one of those, it was going to be three fifty a night. So that kind of gives you an idea of the savings, you know. So, yeah. $100, $150 a night? Um, The reason, and I like this one, is because anyone can stay here, but... Most families don't. It's more like business um, companies and stuff. There are kids, I do see kids occasionally, but it's not overrun with kids. No. Like we used to stay at the Pop Century. It just got too much. We've stayed pretty much at every ho Disney hotel except for the expensive ones. So all the moderate and value we've stayed at. And there's just, you know, we're two adults with no children. I love children, don't get me wrong, 
but I don't really want to be laying in bed and hear screaming kids running up and down the hallway. Never had this happen here at the Swan. That's one of the main reasons well, we like this one. The proximity, you can walk directly to Epcot. That's yes, the biggest, that's and that's the, the other benefit. reason. That's the biggest benefit. Or you can walk to one of the other Hollywood studios. You walk to either one. The number one park we visit the most is Epcot. We walk to Epcot. Now, if we didn't, if we didn't have events to go to at yeah. Epcot, I would probably stay back at um, Port. Port Orleans. Yeah. Yeah. We like that hotel too. But it's and been a while. It's a reasonable price, but you know what? It's still cheaper to stay here than it would be to stay over there. Yes. So, I mean, I, you can't beat that. All right. That's it. That's my review of Swan. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you later.